visit our website. TV is your 24-hour news, sports, and information channel. fans to Dublin High School Stadium in Dublin, California, where the San Francisco Bay Seals are hosting the Orange County Zodiac. The proud title sponsor of the San Francisco Bay Seals is Catholic Healthcare West. We are at Dublin High School, where tonight the San Francisco Bay Seals are taking on the Orange County Zodiac. Zodiac Having a great year so far at four and three. The Seals, uh, when we last uh, spoke to you, won the next game against the U.S. Pro 40 team, then they've lost their last two, so they're trying to get back on the winning track. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Tony Alejandre. And uh, the Seals have had a little bit of trouble scoring, but they've uh, added a player to the roster, and we'll see if that makes a difference here tonight. Yeah, they added Rasheem Henderson. Rasheem Henderson's a great player out of Cal Poly. Played last year for the California Jaguars. You know, he's a big target up front. And let's hope that he can contribute this year. All right. Well, the scene should be a good one here tonight. Sunny skies, a little bit of wind. We'll be right back in just a moment as we get set for the start of tonight's game here at Dublin High School. Popular competitive sports like swimming and tennis may cause shoulder pain because of inadequate strength in the small muscles. Modified activity and medication at night or good early treatments. An exercise band or light weights could be necessary to completely heal your shoulder injury. This health moment brought to you by the doctors and hospitals of CHW, the Bay Area pioneer in sports medicine. A truck, a spool of cable and a few people wanting more out of TV. That's all it took to start a cable company. A lot's changed since then at TCI. We grew and maybe lost sight of what's most important. You, our customers. So we're gonna try to see things from your point of view. Do things a little differently and a lot better. TCI, we got the picture. like a second home rather than just a ride. At MAZ Auto Center, our reputation and experience can add a little more comfort to your commute. Whatever your taste in music, MAZ carries the auto sound system that's just right for you. And our talented installers can put it in and make it sound right. MAZ Auto Center in Redwood City, San Francisco, and Oakland. Let us help design the perfect driving experience for you. Welcome back to Dublin High Schools. We get set for tonight's A-League soccer game. They are announcing tonight's starting lineups on the field. The Seals wearing uh, their black and red tonight to accommodate the Orange County Zodiac who wanted to wear their white tonight. Here's the starters tonight. We see Rasheem Henderson does get the start tonight at forward and Keith Ratsburg will be a defender tonight. So that's a little bit different from what we normally see on this Seals team, Tony. Yes, it is. Keith Ratsburg is a multi-dimensional player for the um, for the Seals. And I, you know, that's one of the main, main reasons that Tom picked him as his number one draft pick. Shawnee Simpson will have to sit out the next game because of a red card. So that was one of the reasons why Ratsburg is in as a defender tonight. They want He wants to have uh, both Shawnee and Keith on the field at the same time tonight so that Shawnee can kind of help Keith out, hope that it works out so that he can play defense next week when Shawnee does have to sit out. So there's your starters for the San Francisco Bay Seals tonight. And we will take another break right here and be right back with tonight's kickoff here at Dublin High School. If you have a bike accident, ice your injuries as soon as possible. Continue modified activity and icing until the pain is gone. Exercises are often necessary to return you to peak performance. 
stretching to warm up, and wearing a helmet are good practices to help prevent injury. This Health Moment brought to you by the Doctors and Hospitals of CHW, the Bay Area pioneer in sports medicine. So I've been seeing these ads. Satellite TV, a gazillion channels for one amazing low price. Well, guess what? There is no amazing low price. I checked it out. First, they tell me I gotta get all this stuff. Then I gotta pay for installation. Not cheap. And on top of all that, I still have to pay for programming. And if I want separate equipment for each TV, that could cost several hundred dollars more. Satellite TV? No thanks. I'll keep my cable. TCI Cable, a better value than satellite. Break some barriers. Take advantage of 0% APR for 24 months on new Ultimas and other select Nissan models. And we're getting set to go here tonight. Now the Seals currently tied for fourth in the Western Conference's Pacific Division at three and five. Orange County at four and three right now. And they are tied, or they are actually alone in second place behind the California Jaguars, who are having a great year so far with five wins, 15 points in the Western Conference and in the Pacific Division of this A-League season for 1998. Mike Gartland is the head coach for the Orange County Zodiac. He's actually a player coach. He was the goalkeeper last year for this team. He's in his first year as the coach for the Orange County Zodiac in their white with blue trim tonight. And they will go on the attack first. Orange County coming off a 2-0 loss earlier in the week at the hands of California. The Seals played on Wednesday night, a loss against San Diego. So we'll try and turn things around there, try to get some offense going early on. Orange County sending it out on the far side. And the Seals will have a throw in right now. Talking with Tom Simpson before the game, he really hopes his team comes out, plays some good, solid defenses, establishes, establishes themselves defensively against this Orange County team. They have some big-time players on this Orange County team. They sent five players to Major League Soccer off last year's team. So uh, this is a very good franchise and uh, should be a very strong game tonight. Yeah, they got some definitely really good players on the team. P.J. Pulaski out of UC Irvine. Uh, Steve Patterson out of Fresno State, and Eddie Soto, which was playing uh, beach soccer before this. I think he's trying to make a comeback. He was uh, uh, drafted by the Clash, but, you know, the Clash have uh, Winalda and Cerritos, and that's a, you know, hard team to break that starting lineup as a forward. Rashim Henderson wearing number 15, almost broke loose right there for a breakaway. This is Sean Sanders back on defense, sending it across to Brian Engeser. Orange County trying to work things around a little bit right here. They're a very big team, a lot of big guys on this team, very physical team. Seen a lot of physical play in the A-League so far this year. Header by P.J. Pulowski, taken away by Ken Rogaski. Into the middle it goes to Shawnee Simpson and taken away by Steve Patterson. Patterson, one of the top scorers on this team with two goals, two assists so far this year. Mark Foster sending it across now. And this one is cleared out momentarily by Jason Westcott. Nice save on the near side by Sean Sanders out of Fresno State, and he sends it down into the box. Bill May will come up and grab this one. See a lot of players out of Fresno State and Cal State Fullerton for this uh, Orange County team. They play at UC Irvine. That's their home field down in Orange County. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, Shawnee Simpson playing in the midfield. 
as an attacking midfielder role where uh, mostly all of his life he's always played on the outsides and now he's got to you know accommodate himself in the middle we'll see how his uh, transition is and see if he can be uh, effective if not uh, coach Simpson's gonna have to make some decisions Steve Patterson trying to chase that one down it ends up off a San Francisco Bay seal Orange County pushing it inside a little bit now Sean Sanders Looking for breathing room, but a nice defensive play by Angelo Sablo, sending it out. Kenny Hess now gets it into Patterson. Patterson with the shot. Bill May sends it up and over. A nice stop by Bill May. Very hard shot by Steve Patterson. That one had some smoke on it. Steve Patterson's a big time forward. He's a big guy. Guy must weigh at least 190 pounds. And for Robert Gallo, which is at 160, that's a lot of muscle he's got to put on the kid. Steve Patterson is 6'2", 190 pounds, just a 21-year-old. Was drafted by the Chicago Fire of the MLS. Actually came to this team from the Colorado Foxes, where he had 16 goals last year in the A-League. This one by Sean Sanders sent well over the cross. We're going to take a look at Bill May's save once again. Very nice job to keep this one out of the goal. Right here, Patterson does a one touch. He moves it right around Gallo. Gallo's, you know, loses sight of the ball and Patterson takes a nice shot at the goal. Billy May just pairs it off over the post. Oh, Rasheem is uh, definitely gonna, you know, win some head balls up at the top the way he's doing. They really like his size at 6'3", gives them a physical presence down inside and they've had some opportunities scoring wise but they haven't had that physical presence haven't had a big target inside and that's definitely what Rasheem Henderson gives them well Rasheem being you know big forward the way he is I think he should stay with the last defender and basically play as a point man or as a target man because if he thinks he's gonna be able to run you know around you know around the whole field I mean he's gonna get tired Keith Ratzberg on the far side looking for breathing room Ball still in bounds. This field a little narrower than keys are. And a little bit of a crown to it. So we saw the seals on this pitch uh, a few weeks ago and they didn't play particularly well here. They'd really like to turn it around here at Dublin High School. This is the last time they'll be playing here this year in the East Bay. Ball sent out on the near side. Right now the seals should press up, press over and uh, you know put some high pressure right here, maybe force some turnovers. You know, don't make it so easy for the Zodiac to get out of that. Tate Ioni dribbling up on the far side. Taken away by Shawnee Simpson. And sent out on the far side by Mark Foster. Tate Ioni, an old uh, Lori Calloway uh, favorite. Played with Lori Calloway back in uh, Stockton when he was uh, with the Stockton United as an under-16 player. And... Um, Lori's always liked him and, you know, picked him for the clash. And well, I guess the clash got a new coach and let Tate go. Ken Rogaski looking for breathing room. Tate Ioni, a member of that UCLA NCAA championship team back in 1990. Sablo trying to break loose and now does. Taken away from behind by Kenny Hess. Nice defensive play. Shane Watkins trying to send it across to Shawnee Simpson. Ken Fullen trying to take control, but it's Steve Patterson who comes out with the ball for Orange County. Zodiac have had a couple of shots here early going, and there's our first whistle and a player down for Orange County. And we're going to get a, ye a yellow card. David Higgison, the referee, wasting no time going for the yellow card here with 38 13 to go. I think the defender made a little bit more of that than it actually was, and the referee fell for it there. Rasheen Henderson picking up that yellow card, his first one as a member of the SEALs. He started the year with the California Jaguars this season. P.J. Pulaski sending it out to Tate Ioni. Keith Ratzberg on defense takes it away. A little bit different role tonight for Keith Ratzberg. Referee 
Orange County taking it back away and weaving their way up. Orlando Perez looking for P.J. Pulowski and a little bit of a push and a whistle that's going to go against Pulowski. The defense is definitely going to have their hands full today with uh, Eddie Soto and Steve Patterson. Eddie Soto, a very crafty player, likes to, you know, bring the, bring the defenders in at him, you know, make the defenders dive in and put the move by him. And Steve Patterson is just a strong forward, which, you know, hold the ball, maybe, get, you know, move the ball up top. Henderson with a nice header long, but Mike Littman, the goalie for Orange County, is right there. Littman, 6'1", 200-pounder. Has a 1.28 goal against average so far this season for the Orange County Zodiac. That wasn't helped by giving up four goals against California. That was earlier this week, a 4-1 loss for California. Wednesday night. Shane Watkins on the far side, battling tough. The ball sent out, and it's going to stay with the Seals right here. Seals yet to really make a good scoring threat here in this one. 35-55 to go in the first half. Really, the pattern has been for the Seals in games where they can get a goal early on. They seem to gain confidence and play well from there. If it goes the other way, as they almost found the pass inside to Rogaski coming out, Littman, he has to punch it away. And now the ball cleared out by Tate Ioni. Good opportunity right there inside by the Seals. Littman got a little nervous there seeing Rasheem, walk, Rasheem come at him. He said, well, wait a minute, I better uh, just punch this away. Sean Sanders sending that one into the circle. Now Rogaski takes it back away, and now it's Sanders. This is Rob Gallo looking long for Shane Watkins. Watkins is out there, Watch guarded those. closely by Perez. Watkins working along, and this is going to be a corner kick for the Seals. If we can happen to have a replay on uh, what uh, Shane just did on that little move, that is the patented Shane Watkins move. He does a little step over, defender dives in, and he takes it the other way. You'll see Shane do that over and over on people. Shawnee Simpson will take the corner kick right here. Looking for Henderson. It goes a little bit high, however. Cleared out. This is Eddie Soto. Soto ahead to Steve Patterson. And sent out on the near side. Both teams pointing their way, and it is going to be the Seals' ball. That was an excellent play by Jason Westcott getting stuck in. Sablo with the throw in, looking for Henderson. You know that Henderson wants to come out here and play well tonight and establish himself early on as a, as a vital member of this team and hold down that starting spot. Real vote of confidence by Tom Simpson to give him a start in just his second game on the squad. Oh, yeah, I mean, Henderson comes from, a, you know, he's he's been very successful everywhere he's been. Um, when he was with the Jaguars, he was one of the leading scorers on the team. Of course, he wants to come here with a new group of guys. He wants to show them that, hey, you know, I want to contribute. I want to put this team back on a winning track. Sablo with the throw into Henderson. Cleared out. Steve Patterson. Now Eddie Soto. Soto sending it long. Foot race on the far side. P.J. Pulowski trying to get there, but Keith Ratsburg beats him to the ball. And now Ratsburg goes down hard, and a whistle. That's going to go against Orange County and Mark Foster. Mark Foster, another Fresno State uh, player that is uh, making his livelihood in Orange County. Mark Foster, the all-time assist leader at Fresno State, had 24 assists in his career there. Rasheem Henderson with a header ahead to Shawnee Simpson. Simpson trying to get around Tate Ioni. Shane Watkins inside, cleared out. Rogaski's there momentarily, taken back away by Kenny Hess. Steve Patterson now to Eddie Soto. Soto trying to get it back to Patterson, but it's taken away by Alberto Cruz. 
defensively, the Seals seem to be doing everything right. You know, they're, they're never a man down or anything, so everything seems to be real compact. The midfield seems to be winning some loose balls. That's what Tom Simpson was really looking for tonight. Get some good defense early on, gain some confidence. Really felt that uh, earlier in the year when they were having trouble scoring some goals, they worked a lot on offense, and he felt that the defense suffered because of that, and then they were giving up goals early on and losing games that way. So they've gone back to really concentrating on defense and then trying to score when you get the opportunities. It's that old motto, defense wins games, you know. If they can't score on you, they can't beat you. Lidman coming out, Henderson trying to get through Peter Lack that time. Lack trying to buy a call from the officials. Eddie Soto now dropping it down and there's no one there for Orange County. And you can already see that the Seals are starting to play with a little more confidence on the defensive end. Eddie Soto being a forward, maybe not getting the ball. He's starting to drop back into the midfield and see, seeing if he can pick some balls up. Perez looking for Sanders. Right there is Sablo, and Sablo with a little bit of a collision right there. The ball ends up going off Orange County, and now Sablo will throw it back in. Co-captain on this team with Rob Gallo. Been a member of this squad since 1993. And you see that with a lot of the San Francisco Bay Seals. They've been on this team. They've come up through the ranks together Unlike Orange County, who only returns three players from last year's MLS team that went 11 and 17. Shane Watkins on the far side. Henderson inside. Watkins dumps it across. Ken Follen almost with an opportunity trying to get that thing to Henderson. You see the Seals are looking for Henderson here early on. Here's another pass headed his way. Cleared out by Tate Ioni. And the Seals, they've never really had a big time... Uh, a big forward like uh, Rasheem, you know, the last big forward that they had was uh, Kato Solberg, which was a USF All-American, and he went back to Norway to continue his uh, soccer career over there. Bill May clearing it out. Throw in coming now for the Orange County Zodiac. Orange County playing last year in the A-League for the first time. Peter Lack trying to get it to Mark Foster. Ratsburg ends up kicking it out for San Francisco. Ratsburg's winning a lot of balls, you know. It just, you know, goes to prove that, you know, he was the number one pick, and, you know, he's a very versatile player. He can play forward. He can play midfield. He can play defender. I don't think he can play goalie. But, you know, the kid has such a big heart and love for the game that, you know, you can put him anywhere, and he's going to work hard for the whole 90 minutes of the game. Alberto Cruz battling on the far side with Mark Foster. Now Ratsburg comes back and helps out a little bit. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Seals. You look around the A-League, so far the Seals have beat a couple of the leaders. The Pacific Division leader, California, they beat early on. And El Paso, who is 5-1, their only loss of the season so far to San Francisco. So they can do it against the top teams in this league. they just got to develop some consistency, hopefully starting here tonight. Littman chasing it down. Littman out of Cal State Northridge, a 6'1", 200-pounder. Brogaski to Simpson. Sablo now on the near side. Westcott has it taken away by Sanders. Sanders trying to dump it in, but Patterson was held up. And the Seals take back over. Yeah, let's see if the Seals can work it around. If it's not good one way, let's bring it back around. Oh, Rasheem's got to get position on there so he can hold on to that ball. Let's bring it around, you guys. Keith Ratzberg looking inside to Shane Watkins. Watkins trying to head it near the goal, and it's cleared out nicely by Orlando Perez. Soto now dumping it long. It's a foot race. Patterson gets by Westcott. Patterson has it blocked by May. The goal is open. The shot goes high by Pulowski. I think Jason Westcott was amazed by uh, Steve Patterson's foot speed right there. 
Um, you know, he showed what it takes to get in the MLS, and that's the, you know, the change of speed, and that's what we saw right there, Jason being a little flat-footed. Patterson, who was fourth in the league in goals last year, almost picked up another one. He has two so far this season for the Orange County Zodiac, and at 6'2", 190, he can run a little bit. Yeah, he's a big boy. Mark Foster looking for a teammate, doesn't get it. Now Foster tries to chase it down himself. Bill May clearing it out. Foster was, uh, last time we seen Fo the Seals uh, played against Foster, he was playing for the Tucson Amigos over in the, um, in the USISL. Sanders taking it away now, trying to dump it inside. Westcott takes it away for the Seals. Seals looking for a call right there. Nothing doing. Alberto Cruz having a word with one of the officials. Let's do a, the first uh, drop in. All headaches, especially migraines, can be debilitating. Learn about new medications for treating headaches at a free seminar at St. Francis Memorial Hospital, 900 Hyde Street, San Francisco, Wednesday, May 20th, 7 to 8.30 p.m. To register, call 415-673-4600. Keith Ratzberg chasing this one down into the corner, but Orange County takes it away. Patterson there, but stepping in front. The Seals take it back away. This is Shawnee Simpson now. Henderson coming up to help out. Brian Angeser trying to send it down inside for Orange County. They'll have to retreat now and try to set the offense back up. Playing here in the East Bay, the Seals really trying to uh, reach all fans around the Bay Area. This is the, the third game of the year, the last time they will be playing over here on the East Bay. And this is a real hotbed for soccer here in the East Bay. Definitely the Tri-Valley, Pleasanton, Livermore, and Dublin have been known to uh, you know, bring out some really good soccer players. Angusser out of Notre Dame, dribbling it up now and looking long for Patterson. Patterson has it. Soto out in front, taken away by Sablo, however. Sablo looking toward midfield, taken back away and sent out. See, uh, Jason Westcott, what he should have done on Steve Patterson, as Steve Patterson was running away from the goal, you know, it would have been nice for Jason to come, you know, and put pressure on him so that way the ball is still being forced back. But uh, Steve Patterson uh, was able to turn and, you know, gives them the, you know, the attacking. Uh... We've got a yellow card right here. Pulling it out, David Higgison. This sports telecast is intended for the private viewing of our cable television audience. Any reuse in part or in whole for any commercial purpose without the written permission of TCI of California, Bay TV, and the San Francisco Bay Seals is prohibited. Shot on goal, Bill May right there. Oh, that's, that's easy, easy pickings for Billy May. No real danger there. That was Sean Sanders trying to find the goal that time. Ken Rogaski to midfield. Rob Gallo. Nice defensive play. Orange County turning it away. That was Tate Ioni stepping in front of that pass. Kenny Hess now sending it back. Orlando Perez looking long for Patterson. Pass goes a little bit high. No secret about where the offense goes with this Orange County team right through Patterson and Soto. They are the guys that... Uh, Get involved a lot in the offense. Patterson with two goals so far this year. Soto with three for Orange County. Jason feeding a ball back to Billy May earlier, hitting it with his left foot, and then he gives it back to him again, so he can hit it with his right foot. We can see that Billy May's a right-footed, though. Orlando Perez sending it long. Chased down now by Jason Westcott for San Francisco. Crowd getting a little antsy here as we approach the 20 minute mark left in this first half of play. 
See, right, right there in that shot that we just had, uh, Jason Westcott's looking for, you know, Ford to be making the run, and Rasheem, you know, is still, you know, the continuity isn't there for him to read his fullbacks when they're ready to just punt the ball up to him and look for the big man. Rasheem Henderson has to start, uh, you know, offering more as a forward. It's interesting that uh, Tom Simpson has uh, Rodney Dumlau warming up already. See who Dumlau might be going in for here in this first half. Don't really see too many substitutions by Tom Simpson in the first half. Keith Ratzberg with the throw in far side. This is Alberto Cruz now. Shane Watkins running head on into Perez that time. Seals will hang on right here. We're at 0-0 here in this first half. Seals looking for their fourth win of the year. Orange County looking for win number five. This would be a big one for the Seals if they can get it here tonight. Let's see if uh, Shawnee Simpson can, you know, have a long throw to Rasheem Henderson's head. Maybe he can flick it on uh, Shane Watkins and put it in the goal. You know, something you... You write up on a textbook, and let's see if they can uh, pull it off. That looks like the plan right here. Oh, big man Henderson gets free. comes up with it, but he doesn't get it past the defender. That was Tate Ioni stepping right in front. Now Patterson trying to get by Jason Westcott. Patterson rolling up the middle, but Westcott tips it away. Ratzberg now sends it over to Simpson. Henderson hitting the turf. Simpson trying to catch back up with it. Littman coming way out to kick this one out. Alberto Cruz chasing it down now for the Seals. Almost has his clear shot blocked. Westcott now to the far side to Keith Ratzberg. Ratzberg, the top draft pick for the San Francisco Bay Seals this year out of USF. Brian Engeser clears it away from Rasheem Henderson. Henderson now using his physical size right there to keep himself away from the de defender. Rogaski with a shot on goal, an easy stop by Mike Littman. First shot of the night by the Seals from long range. Rogaski, normally a defender, wants to get some stats out there, so so they might as well take a shot now, see what happens. He's trying to make something happen right there. Ratzberg stepping in front of this one. Ken Follin trying to get it ahead to Henderson. Taken away and cleared by Tate Ioni. Bill May will come out, get it back to the Seals now. Long pass, near side. Sablo running it down into the corner. Sablo looking to the middle. Shane Watkins is there. Watkins has Henderson to his left. Watkins working through the defense. Taken away by Perez. Perez clears it out to Patterson now. Rob Gallo trying to take back control. Sablo steps in front. Henderson there, but it's headed out by Tate Ioni. Soto now trying to work it up for Orange County to midfield. Kenny Hess sending it long. Ratzberg doing a nice job keeping it away from Mark Foster on the far side of the field. Foster was on the Nashville Metros last year in the A-League. And continuity has to be a little bit tough for Orange County this year because they do have a whole group of new players, only three returners from last year's team. It's the team that may really improve later in the season. Yeah, they definitely have a lot of, you know, good name players. But in soccer, you know, if you can play, you can play with anybody because soccer is a universal language. Soto with a shot on goal, tipped over the cross by Bill May. Bill May timing his leap out perfectly right there, getting enough of the ball to send it. Over the top. Great accuracy from the outside by Soto. So far, Soto and Patterson have each had shots on goal, both deflected over by Bill May. Corner kick coming up now. 
sent over the top. Not a great effort that time. That was a horrible effort by Eddie Soto. So Bill May will kick it away now. Both teams are playing well, though, up to now. You know, not one team has been, been you know, running things or dictating the game. Perez to Engeser now for Orange County. Engeser looking long for Soto. It's Alberto Cruz now for San Francisco who chases this one down. Seals have had one shot on goal, a long one by Ken Rogaski that really didn't have much of a chance to get past Mike Littman. Seeing the Seals really working it to Rasheem Henderson, the new player on the squad. So far, Henderson hasn't been able to get a real good look at the goal with 16 minutes and 35 seconds to go here in the first half. Tied up 0-0. Ken Follin. Shane Watkins now. Shawnee Simpson sending it long. Ratsburg bumped. He hits the turf. It's going to be Orange County's ball. Ratsburg looking for a call right there, having a chat with the official. Ratsburg with a little bit of a shove from behind on Mark Foster, and that results in a whistle and a free kick for Orange County. Tate Ayani trying to chase this one down. Can't do it. There is a little bit of a crosswind. It was a little stronger this afternoon and seems to be dying down as the evening goes on. But it's still, if you get the ball up in the air and, and uh, you don't have uh, much room on that far side, it's going to blow out. We've seen the ball do some weird things with this type of wind inside this valley here. You know, it, it can be going out and it hits a gust of wind. It'll be coming right back into the goal. Against San Diego on Wednesday, kind of a tough loss for San Francisco. They gave up a goal early on in the third minute. And then later in the game, they, had, they gave up a, a, a penalty kick goal. So... Uh, a game where you kind of look at it, you weren't really particularly outplayed. You gave up the early goal. You gave up a penalty kick late in the game. But yet you still end up on the short end of a 2-0 score. Yeah, it was a game of opportunities. And the San Diego team took advantage of the, you know, quick counterattack in the first goal. And then, you know, they were awarded a penalty kick um, late in the game. And that kind of put the nail in the coffin for the Seals to, to make a comeback. Keith Ratzberg with a nice takeaway. Rashim Henderson has it now just outside the box. Henderson making a left-right move. Now back to the left, taken away by P.J. Pulowski. Ken Follin now trying to gain control. Patterson sending it ahead to Pulowski. Pulowski with the shot. Bill May grabs it. Pulowski has scored two goals this year. He's throwing the ball out because there's an injured man. And we have an injury. Back at the other end, one of the Orange County Zodiac laying on the turf. I think what might have happened is that uh, the Rasheem was trying to win the ball in the air, and uh, this uh, defender de a, defender came in over the top and then uh, caught one of Rasheem's uh, elbows. Diabetes yeah. can lead to serious medical problems if it is not caught in time. Sequoia Hospital in Redwood City offers free diabetes screenings by appointment at the hospital's Diabetes Treatment Center. Don't take chances with your health. Call 650-367-5213. That's 650-367-5213. That was Peter Lack, who is now up and okay for Orange County. I would really like to see the Seals force the ball more to Rasheem. You know, look for him up top, you know, hit him the long ball. Have him post up, and maybe, you know, if can Rasheem can just flick it over to, you know, to Shane or Shawnee running through, or maybe back to Kenny, where Kenny can, you know, be coming forward with the ball. You know, it's something that we can look for. Seals will be back across the bay at Keysar Stadium next Saturday night. Hope to see you out there. 
be taking on the California Jaguars, who are currently leading the Pacific Division of the Western Conference of the A-League. So that should be a great game. And those teams have already met twice this year, so they're getting to know each other real well. Oh, yeah. It's becoming a great rivalry there. Make plans to be out at Kizar Stadium next Saturday night to cheer on the Seals. Sablo out in front, headed away by Sean Sanders. Sanders very active here in the first half for Orange County. Be nice to see the Seals with 12 minutes left in the game to get a goal. You know, that way they go into the halftime, you know, feeling good and, you know, puts the pressure on the Zodiac to, to try to make a comeback. That's really been the key for the Seals here in the early season. When they've scored first, they've won the game. That's the bottom line. When the other team scored first, it's a defeat. I think that's why Tom went out and tried to look for a forward in Rasheem. Long pass to Rasheem Henderson. Guarded on that far side by Lack. Sent out. It's going to be the Seals ball. An opportunity here for San Francisco. Ratsburg working down into the corner. He's tripped up. And a free kick coming now for the Seals. Ratsburg going down hard that time. Looks like he is going to be okay. Peter Lack talking with the official on that far side, trying to state his case. Not one he's going to win. He was called up at the end of last season by the LA Galaxy. This Orange County team really a, a feeder team for the LA Galaxy of the MLS. Let's hope uh, Shawnee hits a hard driven ball about head high right to Rasheem, see what happens with it. That looks like the idea. Rasheem gets up, but it's headed by Pulowski first. Now a shot from the outside blocked by Lidman. Lidman has to scramble after the ball and just does get there. Yeah, Kenny got, got his leg on it, you know. It was on frame, but not, well, it just wasn't hard enough. Ken Follen with the shot. Now Ratsburg taking it back away. Follen near midfield. Sends it back to Ratsburg. Ratsburg on a run. Has his pass blocked by Ingeser. Ball up in the air. In the box. Headed out by Patterson. Follen trying to get it to Henderson. Follen with another block, but Littman's right there. You got to like uh, what uh, Keith Ratzberg's doing on the outside. He's making those attacking runs. He's not doing it every every time. He's picking his spots when to do it. Um, you know, Zodiac's going to have to compensate for that in the second half. And so far, Ratzberg's showing that he can play a little bit of defense, too. He's doing a nice job down at that end of the field. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, Ratzberg is uh, one of the complete players on this squad. You know, you, you have some players that can only play offense, some players that you can only play defense. Well, Ratsburg uh, plays them both. Patterson gets it over to Sanders. Now back to Patterson, high in the air, headed out by Alberto Cruz. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first half at Dublin High School. San Francisco Bay Seals trying to get back on the winning track. Watkins over to Henderson. Henderson near midfield trying to break away. Last touched by the Zodiac. A throw in coming for San Francisco. Tom Simpson talking about practice on yesterday. Even though they played on Wednesday, they did have a practice on Thursday. He said the attitudes were good. It was a very solid practice. And he hoped that that translated into a good game tonight for his San Francisco Bay Seals. Still at 0-0. Eight minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first half. Seals have had some opportunities here in the latter stages of this first half. They've controlled the ball most of the last 15 minutes. Really only had one shot on goal to show for it. Alberto Cruz running this one down, trying to send it long to Shawnee Simpson, but a little bit high and a little bit too long, and it goes out. Right here, we have to put some. Uh, we have we have to make sure that we win the second ball. This ball's going to be coming up in the air. Someone's going to hit the ball, you know, first off with their head. But hopefully, the second ball we can win. Right here is the second ball winners that we're looking for. See, that ball is the ball that we have to collect. Keith Ratzberg running this one down into the corner. 
Mark Foster there for Orange County. Alberto Cruz now to Shawnee Simpson. And back to Ratsburg. Foster mixing it up with Ratsburg. Ratsburg getting it to Ken Folan. Nice pass ahead. Sablo has to slow up for this pass. That gives Orange County a chance to get their defense back. Watkins back to Folan. Folan goes down. And we do get a late whistle. I think the ref was trying to give him the advantage, saw that he wasn't going to get it, so he decided to call it for him. Shawnee Simpson will hit the free kick now for San Francisco. Seals with the big fellow at the top of the box, Rashim Henderson. Henderson can't quite get to this one. Tate Ayani heading it away and now cleared out nicely by Orange County. Steve Patterson sending it to the far side. Soto has Gallo really climb up his back for that one. Seals take it away. Angelo Sablo working against Patterson. Patterson sends it out. Patterson almost came away with that one cleanly but was very close to the line and ended up working the ball to his left foot and on the line. Henderson, tough battle there with Orlando Perez. Perez trying to stay with him, not give him any room. And it results in a whistle and a free kick coming up now for the San Francisco Bay Seals. Ken Folan will hit this one. Another opportunity for the Seals. Ken Folan's looking to place the ball right where the penalty spot is, between penalty spot and the six-yard box, right there. It's a great ball that Ken Folan just hit. Shane Watkins almost with a chance to head that one near the goal. Taken away now by Soto. Soto ahead to Sanders. Sent out, and that's going to be Orange County's ball. San Francisco trying to help with the call a little bit. The official points the other way. Perez with the throw in now. Sablo there with the header. Now Westcott sends it long. Henderson trying to run it down. Can't get there in time. Running out of time here in the first half. Under five minutes to go now. A 0-0 contest. The Seals last win also 0-0 at the half. They came back with three second half goals against the U.S. Pro 40 team. Ended up winning that one three to two. Very exciting second half. Ken Folan to Sablo. Back up to Folan. Folan very active here in this first half. Rogaski has it cleared out. Alberto Cruz now trying to give the Seals a chance to get back on the offensive attack. Keith Ratzberg can't control that one. And it's sent out by Mark Foster on the far side. Seals have really controlled the tempo in this uh, last 15 minutes or so of this first half. They just haven't been able to get any re really good solid shots on goal. Yeah, definitely. The defense is, you know, able to work the ball around. They're taking their time and they're picking their spots at when they want to go at the Zodiac, which is, which is nice to see. Three minutes and 40 seconds left now in the first half. Shawnee Simpson, Kim Ty Simpson still out with an injure, injury, an injured knee now. He was out with a back injury last game. We saw him come in in the second half of that last game we telecast, and then he ended up hurting his knee, and he's been out and will be out indefinitely with that knee injury. Kim Ty is a remarkable athlete. He'll find a way to recover. He's a, he's the one guy that, one guy on the SEALs team that is never... Never down for long. He'll, he'll find a way to get back up. Mark Foster with a great defensive play, clearing it out of the box. Now on the attack, here comes Orange County. 
Jason Westcott and now Alberto Cruz sending it back to Bill May. Good collision right there. Perez and Henderson. No whistle, no call. Shane Watkins now weaving his way around Peter Lack. And Watkins goes down. The ball dribbles back to Mike Littman. Littman with a nice punt looking for Patterson. Way downfield. Alberto Cruz is there, however. Orange County taking it back away. Jason Westcott just barely gets a foot on that one to keep it away from Patterson. Sablo now bringing it up the near side. Still 0-0. Orange County trying a little give and go, but P.J. Pulowski went the wrong way. Soto thought he was going to break back to the outside. He went inside. Minute and 40 now to go in the first half. Jason Westcott gets it to Ken Folan now. Rogaski to Cruz. Near midfield, Shawnee Simpson. Back over to Keith Ratzberg. Shane Watkins coming out, trying to gain control offensively. Pass headed for Soto. Really, the Seals defense has taken Orange County completely out of their game here in this first half. Yeah, they are. They're, they're playing very good defense. Let's see if uh, Rasheem can hold on to this ball. Grabbed that time by Perez and thrown out. You know, the Seals have to look more and more towards Rasheem, but Rasheem has to position himself, you know, in the center of the park where, you know, he's a big, ta big target. Crowd trying to inspire the Seals right here. Nice job defensively by Orange County again. Under 30 seconds now, long pass ahead. Henderson's there, the header goes just a bit wide. Good effort by Henderson as he gets way up above the defender, but he can't send it toward the goal. Perez was right there, but Henderson with the height advantage had a shot, and Henderson may be a little bit shaken up. He's a little bit, uh, walking with a little bit of a limp. This one headed by Peter Lack. And that will do it for the first half of play. Nice defensive job by San Francisco. They had some opportunities offensively, but neither team could come up with a goal here in the first half. 0-0 as we head to the break. The teams head into the locker room, and we'll be back with more action from Dublin High School in just a moment. injuries to joggers such as a hamstring pull or strain often begin to improve in minutes. If injuries continue to hurt and swelling increases, nature is telling you something is still wrong. Ice should be applied. Immobilize the area and seek professional help. Listen to your body. This health moment brought to you by the doctors and hospitals of CHW, the Bay Area pioneer in sports medicine. We love to watch TV. So when I heard all this stuff about how satellite TV is better than cable, I thought, great. Not so great. For instance, additional outlets. With cable TV, they don't cost much at all. With satellite TV and a separate receiver for each set, that could cost a bundle. And get this, we're responsible for service and installation. Our cable company has been providing guaranteed service for years. Satellite TV, no thanks. We'll keep our cable. TCI Cable, a better value than satellite TV. 
Once again this summer, San Francisco's Academy of Art College will offer free professional level art classes for Bay Area high school students. The summer art experience begins on June 22nd and enrollment will be available on a first come, first serve basis. Classes will include animation, computer arts and comic book illustration as well as traditional figure drawing and painting. Space is limited, so call the Academy now at 800-544-ARTS. Free art classes for six weeks. This year, thousands of people will visit places like Florida, Mexico, San Francisco, and the Bahamas. And who will take them there? Sea-Doo, the best-selling boat in the world. Right now, with the purchase of a new Sea-Doo watercraft or jet boat, you'll get free travel on Delta Airlines or make no payments on your new Sea-Doo till September 98. It's ride free, fly free. Get your Sea-Doo now at North Bay Motorsports in Santa Rosa. Go on the booth. Welcome back. We're at halftime here at Dublin High School. The Seals with a good defensive job in the first half against the Orange County Zodiac. We saw Orange County get a couple of nice shots on goal early in that first half, but later on, the Seals really playing some great defense, uh, really keeping Orange County out of their rhythm and developing, developing some opportunities at the other end, but just not able to really get any good hard shots on goal. So we are at 0-0 after the first half of play. We'll take a look at the current standings here in the Pacific Division. See California leading it with 15 points. Orange County right there in second place with 12 points. The Vancouver 86ers currently with 10 points. And then four teams tied with nine points, including the Seals, San Diego, the Seattle Sounders, and the U.S. Pro 40. This is a very tough division when you look up and down the A-League. This is one of the tougher ones. Everybody's like a game away from each other from being in the first place. The Seals come away with the, pl with the win today. They're in... They're in second place, tied with Orange County, and depending on how Vancouver and the rest of the division does, you know, they could be uh, sitting pretty good going into the um, later part of the season. This is really a very big game tonight for the San Francisco Bay Seals as they try and gain confidence, get back on the winning track. And uh, when you look around this A-League, you see some other teams having great seasons. Hershey right now in first place in the Atlantic Division, El Paso at 5-1 and one in the Central Division. And uh, those are some pretty good teams, but... Uh, the Seals beat El Paso early in the season. They played Hershey tough. So these are teams that uh, that they can play with and they can beat to get back uh, back near the top of the Pacific Division, get some more confidence, make a run at this uh, division title. Most definitely. I mean, the way the Seals are playing today is ideally the way Tom Simpson likes to play. He likes to play a very strong defensive game first and then uh, look for the attack. Look for uh, Shane or Shawnee or uh, maybe Kenny Follin to, you know, put a ball, put a ball in the net. So Tom Simpson has to be pleased with the way the Seals played in the first half. Shutting down Orange County. He was a little bit worried about this Orange County team. They're a very big team. They've got some big name players and uh, his team matched up well. And, and uh, it looks like uh, they've got a lot of confidence going into the second half. Do you think we'll see, see the Seals do anything a little bit differently in the second half or stick with what they've done so far and hope that it results in something that gets them a goal? I think the Seals are going to look for Rasheem uh, Henderson up top and Hopefully, uh, see if the big man can play the ball back to maybe one of the midfielders, you know, coming in, you know, coming towards the goal, and hopefully we could put one away. So 0-0 zero, zero here at the half. The team's still in the locker room. We'll take another break right here, and be back with more from Dublin High School and A-League soccer action after this timeout. To make sure hiking does not turn out to be a painful experience, be certain you carry a first aid kit. Blisters can develop quickly. If you get a blister, clean it, puncture it, and cover it with tape. Also, always carry a canteen of water with you. Hiking can be a dehydrating experience. This health moment brought to you by the doctors and hospitals of CHW, the Bay Area pioneer in sports medicine. A truck, a spool of cable, and a few people wanting more out of TV. That's all it took to start a cable company. A lot's changed since then at TCI. We grew and maybe lost sight of what's most important. You, our customers. So we're gonna try to see things from your point of view. Do things a little differently and a lot better. TCI, we got the picture.
and barriers. Take advantage of 0% APR for 24 months on new Altimas and other select Nissan models. As we see, the sun has just about set all the way here at Dublin High School. The light's taking hold as we get set for the second half of play. So far, the Seals matching up well against the big name players for Orange County. This is a team that sent five players to the MLS more than any other team in the A-League last year. And they've got some guys that have potential to make that jump again after this season. Most definitely, they have a player in Steve Patterson, which was out of Fresno State, got drafted by a Chicago Fire, but because of all the international players that Chicago has with the Polish connection up there, um, it's a hard uh, team to break, you know, into in that uh, starting lineup. But Steve Patterson is definitely a big man. You can look for him up top. He's got good footwork, and he has a nice shot. We're gonna take a look at the halftime stats now from this 0-0 first half. You see the Zodiac with six shots. Nice job by Bill May. He came up with five saves in that first half. Zodiac with eight fouls, and the team's even with one yellow card apiece in the first half. Pretty physical game, and the rest really letting a lot go in that first half. We'll see if uh, either team can uh, take advantage of that in the second half. Yeah, I think the referee's doing an excellent job, you know, here today um, because both teams are playing well. You know, there hasn't been one foul that has been, you know, completely, you know, obvious or anything. Um, it's just, it's a great night for soccer here in Dublin. You know, I, w I wish there was uh, more people out here to enjoy it. One of the big question marks was Keith Ratsburg playing defense tonight, but he's done a nice job adjusting to the new position and uh, actually played very well. It looks like it could be a good spot for him. We may see more of him in this spot in the future. Most definitely. I think uh, Tom Simpson is very pleased with the way Keith has been playing because he's, Every one-on-one uh, -on -one opportunity, I think I've only seen the, the guy get by him, by him once. I saw Foster in the corner get by him once. And since then, uh, Keith Rasberg has been playing, you know, phenomenal defense. He's choosing his runs, when to go up. And that's what actually you want to see out of your outside back. You want him to see, see him make those runs up the line, look for a cross, you know, put the ball in the mixer, and let's see what happens, you know. And, and Rasberg's, you know, he's playing within his game. He's not doing too much. He's not doing too little but you know he's uh, contributing very much tonight good first half for bill may a couple of real hard shots that almost found the top end but he was able to punch both of those shots over the goal and uh, imagine we'll see the zodiac trying to put a little bit more pressure on when you give patterson and soto an opportunity at the goal they're going to try to make something happen well billy may is definitely proving why he should be in the mls why the clash called him up for the metro star metro stars game you know to to be on the, you know, behind David Kramer, uh, a former, uh, you know, San Francisco United Seals, uh, you know, goalkeeper himself. So 0-0 zero, zero here at the half, waiting for the second half to get underway and some younger youth players getting an opportunity to get out on the field and uh, play a little bit of soccer right here. We talked about it in the first half. This is a real hotbed of youth soccer. So it's great to see the support and a few folks coming out here to enjoy San Francisco Bay Seal soccer action. We're going to take another break right here and step aside for just a moment. And when we return, we'll have the start of the second half of play between the Orange County Zodiac and the San Francisco Bay Seals. One of the fastest growing sports in America today is soccer. Like any sport played on an uneven surface, the chances for a sprained ankle are extremely high. If an injury occurs, the first thing to do is get ice on the injured ankle. Then remember the word rice, as in rest, ice, compression, and elevation. This should get you back on your feet quickly. This health moment brought to you by the doctors and hospitals of CHW, the Bay Area pioneer in sports medicine. Satellite TV, hundreds of channels, better than cable, sounds great. Forget about it. First, the guy tells me I need all this hardware. Ka-ching! Then there's installation. Another 200 bucks. No problem. Then I find out I can't get local channels without a separate antenna. What's up with that? I watch local news, sports, and weather twice a day. And get this. With satellite TV, the same channels I already have with cable could actually cost more. Satellite TV? No thanks. 
I'll keep my cable. TCI Cable, a better value than satellite TV. generation a label x generation nothing they say we have no sense of purpose they say we have no cause to believe in who are they join the thousands of us who are making a difference and wear a label that does mean something yesterday tommy did something we never thought possible yesterday he turned six become an organ or tissue donor check the back of your license give someone the chance of a lifetime See the score here at the half, 0-0, zero, zero, waiting for the second half to get underway. Officials and teams making their way back out to the field here at Dublin High School. And Tom Simpson has to be pleased with his defense in that first half. Imagine if you talk to them about keeping up that type of pressure and trying to make something happen. Do you think there's anything that he might be stressing offensively as well right now at the half? Well, like, like you mentioned in, at the beginning, defensively, he, he wants to see the team come out and keep the same momentum that, they, that they've been playing with in the first half. Don't give anything away easy. Force the turnovers in the midfield. And let's, let's start looking for Rasheem. You know, let's look for uh, Shane Watkins to be checking the balls into the corner, have him go one-on-one, -on -one, and then hopefully look for Rasheem up top in the, you know, with a head ball. You know, and hopefully Rasheem can connect and you know, contribute in his first game for the Seals. I mean, I, I personally would like to see a, a vision like uh, Keith Ratzberg going down the line and, you know, looking for Rasheem and putting the ball in the net. Orange County Zodiac back out to the field first. Now the Seals starting to make their way back out to the field. And again, we talked about the standings, a big win for the Seals. If they can get it here tonight, it would put them with 12 points and right back near the upper echelon in this Pacific Division. It's going to be a tough, going to be a long season, but um, if you can get some wins uh, at this point in time against some of the other top teams and develop some confidence, this is, this is where the teams may really start to separate themselves in terms of the, the top division teams that are going to make a run at the title and the teams that are going to end up near the bottom of the heap here in this uh, A-League for 1998. Yeah, most definitely. At the beginning of the season, you, I mean, you're, this is the Seals' first season in the A-League, so of course they're feeling out all these uh, new teams that they're playing and you know come the second round they you know they'll have a better idea of who they're playing against what they're doing and you know be able to execute uh, better than they have in this first round the seals once again will be at Kizar stadium next saturday night so make plans to be out there on saturday to cheer on the seals against the california jaguars who are currently in first place in this pacific division it'll be the third meeting of the year between the teams and should be a great one out there at Kizar Stadium. So the teams will flip-flop sides and get ready to go. Still a little bit of a cross breeze blowing here at Dublin High School. And we saw the breeze come into effect a little bit in the first half of play. Overall, it's a great night for, uh, for soccer here in Dublin. Um, I think the players aren't really affected by the cold weather. Once you've been running around for, you know, 45 minutes, even 15 minutes, you, you forget about the how cold it is or how windy it is, and you, you just start playing the game that you love. Looks like most of the same faces and numbers we saw in the first half will start the second half for the San Francisco Bay Seals. Some good intensity for San Francisco here in the first half of play. They look a little bit fired up. They realize uh, what's at stake here in this 1998 season. They're at the kind of the make or break point of the season where you've got to start getting some wins. You've got to establish yourselves as one of the teams that's going to be near the top when the standings uh, come down here later in the season. And you've got to get your points. They've had trouble scoring goals at times this year. And so now it's going to be up to the offense to try to make something happen in this second half tied at 0-0. There's Dr. Tom Simpson along the sidelines. Looking out, hoping that the Seals can get it going right here. 
some some nice opportunities in the latter stages of the first half of play. Neither team able to score. Tate Ioni for Orange County dribbling it up. It'll be a throw in for him. Shawnee Simpson Actually, not a, sure. It'll be a oh, kick. Oh, that's going to be a free kick, yeah. Shawnee got caught holding on to him. Actually, the ball should be closer to the line, but the referee's uh, letting it go. Eddie Soto will hit it down inside. Bill May coming out, and he grabs it. Remember, Seals fans, TCI San Francisco, Marin 31, and Bay TV are your official San Francisco Bay Seals stations. Both teams basically going with the same lineup in the first half, here in the second half. And so both coaches pleased with the way everybody's playing right now. And uh, we saw a couple guys start to warm up for San Francisco, but no substitutions. See if things change here in the second half of play as the score remains 0-0. Chasing it back, this is Peter Lack. Mike Littman hitting this one long. Seals have played very well in the midfield so far in this game. Keeping the ball away from Soto and Patterson who show some great breakaway abilities. They were able to break away a little bit in the first half very early on, but that was about it. Last 20, 25 minutes, the Seals kept them out of scoring range. Shane Watkins has to start getting on track and holding on the ball a little bit more and start creating for himself uh, some, some opportunities to go to goal. There goes Steve Patterson, who we talked about. Patterson had Soto knifing toward the goal, but Alberto Cruz was in front of it. Now Patterson again trying to get there. Patterson goes down. Shawnee Simpson takes it away. No call against either player. Soto trying to break free in traffic. Simpson who's played pretty well in the middle tonight, normally more of an outside player, but he's done a nice job in the middle for the Seals defensively. Yeah, Shawnee's done an excellent job, you know, defensively playing in the middle. He's always been a very, um, you know, defensive aware um, player. Um, what, I, what we'd like to see from uh, Shawnee do a little bit more is maybe look for that long switch, you know, up to Rasheem, or maybe look, look for uh, Shane Watkins in space and then support. Throw in coming on the far side now for the Orange County Zodiac under Mike Gartland. Nice clear that time. If you or someone you know suffers from prostate cancer, talking to others with the same condition can help. Sequoia Hospital in Redwood City offers a free ongoing prostate information forum on the first Tuesday of every month at 2 p.m. For information, call 650-482-6065. Soto trying to break free, but San Francisco has really been all over Eddie Soto, the leading scorer on this team with three goals, two assists in the early season here for Orange County. Tom Simpson admittedly didn't know too much about this Orange County team in the first half. Now he's had a chance to see them for 45 minutes and make some adjustments defensively. And he goes to his bench right here. He's got a couple of guys starting to warm up. Yeah, it seems like he's going to try to put some more uh, midfield support in there. Ratsburg going down hard. Big collision with Mark Foster. Ratsburg still down. I think Ratsburg got the wind knocked out of him. He, you know, he, he doesn't stay down for long. You know, hopefully he's okay. I think it did hurt the Seals uh, a lot if he was to come out of the game right now. Colliding with Foster, a 5'9", 170-pounder. Ratsburg giving away about 10 pounds right there. Slowly making it to his feet. Ratsburg has been a great addition to the team as we get a chance to take a look at that collision one more time. Ratsburg still a little bit groggy. What happened in there is that uh, Mark Foster, as you can see right here, Shawnee kind of feeds him a, a bad ball. 
and Foster just comes in with his elbow right into his uh, solo plex, and uh, and result was uh, Keith Ratsburg with the win knocked out of him. P.J. Pulowski sending it across. Tate Aino looking down inside. Nice job to keep control of it by Shawnee Simpson. Ioni with a handball. Ratsburg goes down hard again. This time Peter Lack picks up the call. Ratsburg had a great opportunity if he could have got over Lack and by him. Ratsburg really taking a beating in this second half so far. I think the Zodiacs, are, they're starting to recognize that Keith Ratsburg's a player and uh, he's giving them problems. And one way you get rid of that problem is that you pound him a little. Um, but I think Tom Simpson has uh, changed uh, something momentarily. I thought it, he may have put Shawnee Simpson back at uh, defense and pushed Keith Ratsburg up, but uh, apparently not. I think they were just covering for each other for that moment. Second yellow card of the night against Orange County. Alberto Cruz. Sending it long to the far side, headed out. And now back in by Ken Rigaski. Seals trying to keep control. This is Sablo, far side. Trying to get around one of the Zodiac and the official on that one. Simpson in the middle, looking into the box for Watkins, taken away. Now Rob Gallo sliding it through. Littman is there and punts it deep. Looking for Patterson. Patterson backing in on Westcott. Down goes a Seal. Patterson in the middle. Patterson finds the back of the net. Tough break for the Seals. Ken Rogowski goes down. Patterson in the middle with the left foot sends it by Bill May. And it's 1-0, Orange County. Referee's going to go confer with his linesman and see what he says. Um, what we see is that there's a punt. Let me see the replay here. The officials are talking this over. You know, Steve Patterson has his back. He's backing Jason up. You know, the ball gets by, and all of a sudden we see him get tripped. You know, and uh, PJ's got the ball. Rogowski's down. Berto's chasing. And uh, Steve Patterson one touches it right by uh, Billy May, which is uh, unfortunate. But I guess the goal is not, is not, uh, oh, well, I guess so. I guess the referee missed that one. Officials were conferring for a moment, and it looks like they are going to give the goal to Orange County. So they lead it now 1-0. Seals will try and come back now, something they've had trouble doing here in 1998. Ken Rogowski getting it ahead. Dorsheem Henderson. Henderson looking for Ratsburg. Sends it a little long. Steve Patterson again on the ball. What a shot. It was offside, though. Offside call that goes against Orange County. So give Pulowski the assist and Patterson the goal. 1-0 Orange County. Bill May will kick this one. 36 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the contest. Rasheem Henderson trying to run it down. Orlando Perez is there for Orange County, and he sends it out on the far side. Orlando Perez, one of those uh, young players that's been playing in the L.A. area for a long time, started out his career with the uh, L.A. Uh, Salsa, I believe, that is uh, that was once coached by uh, Zambra Octavio Zambrano, which is now the current uh, L.A. Galaxy coach. So uh, Perez came up through the under-19 ranks of that team. Very Peterson wise trying player. to take the pass inside, and he's pushed from behind. Patterson and Perez have been mixing it up all night, so a free kick opportunity just outside the box here for the Seals. Right here, the Seals need to come away with something. Hopefully they could score a goal and be right back in this game. Seals packing it in. Watkins and Henderson trying to shake loose. A little bit high. Ratsburg in the box, tries the shot. Littman is out. Rogaski back to Ratsburg. Ratsburg with the left foot blocked nicely by Mark Foster. 
Alberto Cruz chasing it down now. Back into the middle it goes to Rob Gallo. Shawnee Simpson back to Cruz. Seals turning up the pressure a notch right here. Inside it goes to Watkins. Littman is there now for Orange County and he will punt it away. Ken Fullen sends it to Westcott. Westcott back to, to Bill May. Bill May kicking it out on the far side. Now Billy May has got to realize that he has time on that. He can, you know, take an extra touch. He had no pressure right there. You know, he, those are things that I think you gain with experience a little more. And, you know, we hope that doesn't happen again. So Steve Patterson with the goal here. It is 1-0. P.J. Pulowski picking up the assist. That's his first assist on the year for Patterson. That's his third goal on the season. Tied for the team lead with Eddie Soto. Ratsburg heading that one out of trouble. It's going to be a goal kick, however, as Mark Foster touched it. Bill May will have a chance to get the Seals back on the attack right here. Trailing 1-0. We're in the second half of play at Dublin High School. 33 minutes and 20 seconds to go in this one. Push from behind. This is going to go against the Seals. Peter Lack going down that time. Not much contact, but enough to draw the whistle. Soto sending it long, trying to find Pulowski. Pulowski having a little trouble controlling it, and it goes out. The goal scored in the 53rd minute by Orange County. They lead it 1-0 after a 0-0 first half of play. Seals have had trouble coming back in 1998, but uh, that's a trend that they would love to break right here tonight at Dublin High School. And you're going to need to do that if you hope to make a run at a title. There's going to be times when, when things happen, you fall behind early or late in a game, and you've got to be able to to not get down, come back and try to score, knock things back up and, and try to make something happen from there. That's right, Dave. That's, uh, you know, someone's going to have to rise to the occasion. And right now, the Seals definitely need a player to rise to the occasion and, you know, put them back in it. As we can see right now, we're playing a lot of kickball, and that's not necessarily our style of game. We need to, you know, get back to what we were doing in the first half that, you know, was successful for us. P.J. Pulowski, this one out. Ken Follin touched it last, so a throw-in coming for Orange County. It looks like Orange County is going to go to the bench. Brad Wilson, who has scored one goal and has two assists on the year, he's going to check into the game for Mark Foster. 31 minutes and 27 seconds left. Wilson was a member of the L.A. Galaxy during the 96 and 97 season and then was loaned to the Zodiac. It's a player who, who did get some playing time with the LA Galaxy coming off the bench. So a very experienced player coming off the bench tonight for the Zodiac, a shot on goal, but right there is Bill May. Not much on that one. Let's look for Keith to carry the ball. Rats trying to come down the near side. Tate Ioni sending it out. Don't want to give Ratsburg that much field to work with. Nayani closed the gap quickly. As you mentioned, they're really starting to adjust to Ratsburg's speed. Jason Wascott in the center circle. Send it to Ratsburg. Near side, Ratsburg trying to get around Wilson. Throw in coming now by Cruz. Simpson back to Folan and out. Not a very smart ball by Shawnee there. This is the stage of the game where the Seals have got to really buckle down defensively as well. You cannot afford to give up another goal in this situation. 
and fall any further behind. I'm gonna keep the pressure on, try to get a goal notched on the board and tie this thing up. We're at 1-0, Orange County with the lead. Zodiac trying to keep the pressure on California for that top spot in the Pacific Division here in 1998. P.J. Pulowski, far side, headed back into the middle. Right there is Angelo Sablo. Zodiac trying to keep control of it. Now Ken Rogowski helps out and clears it. Patterson in the middle there. A little bit disappointed with himself. He thought he could have come down with that ball and perhaps taken a shot at the goal. But it did not happen. Orange County with that goal, their 13th goal of the season. They've given up just nine. The Seals have only scored six goals, three of those coming in one game against the U.S. Pro 40 team. Here's a shot that goes wide and a little bit high. Bill May lets it sail out. It seems yeah. like, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dave, but it just seems that the Seals have just, uh, they haven't stepped up the second half. It seems like they're just letting, uh, you know, the Zodiac dictate the, you know, the flow of the game now, and they seem to be comfortable with it. Alberto Cruz in the middle. Headed for Ratsburg now. Nice pass ahead. Here's Patterson on the wing. Patterson trying to get it back into the middle to Soto. Ball still alive. Pulowski with the left foot. Bill May is right there. They seem to be winning all every, you know, all the balls. Very nice ball movement that time. Patterson's pass just a little bit high for Soto, or that could have been big time trouble for the Seals. Ken Rogaski now. Getting it back across. And sent out. Sablo will have the throw in now on the far side of the field for the San Francisco Bay Seals, trailing 1 0 to Orange County. Dave Cox and Tony Alejandro bringing you the action from Dublin High School tonight. Ken Folan working his way toward the corner. Now tries to center it to Shane Watkins. Headed out nicely by Steve. Check it, Brian Ings. Ingeser for the Orange County Zodiac. And now it's Peter Lack with the left foot sending it high and long. Jason Westcott will try and run it down for the Seals. Steve Patterson trying to get there as well. And Patterson goes down hard on that far side over a sponsor sign. He may be a little bit shaken up. I think he might have hit the cement over there because there's a cement railing. Bill May has this one headed out. San Francisco takes control. Now here's Henderson. He hasn't had too many touches here in the second half. Seals are really working the ball down into him much of the first half. So far in the second half, they have not been able to get the ball in there. So obviously Orange County is doing something defensively to keep Henderson from being a factor. Yeah, Henderson got caught holding on to the guy's shorts and uh, the referee uh, called it. Seen Henderson really try to use his size to his advantage tonight and so far Seals have had trouble really getting the passes to him where they need to be. One particular play, he got a header off, but that's really about it. And that's the thing that can be effective with him at 6'3". You want to get the ball up high where he can, he can do something with it. And it'll probably take some time to adjust to having a new player like that and figure out what his strengths are, what his weaknesses are, and, and how you can take advantage of his size. Pass ahead to Patterson. Patterson and Westcott down the right side. Patterson reversing his field, and now Ratsburg comes back to help a little. Wilson now trying to get around. And the call goes against Ratsburg. Wilson ran out of a little bit too much uh, real estate there. Pulowski throws it into Patterson, right back to P.J. now. Wilson and Soto back in the box. Soto finding Wilson. Wilson with the left foot through Cruz and right to Bill May. Ronnie Lane, 
Bill May racking up the saves tonight. 1-0 Orange County. Pulowski on the far side, dribbles it out, and the Seals will throw it in now. This is Ken Rogowski trying to work his way toward the middle of the field. Gets it to Ratsburg now. Ratsburg has had some success breaking away, sends it long to Shane Watkins. Watkins guarded by Peter Lack. Littman comes out and clears it out. Patterson heads it back to Soto inside the center circle. Soto dribbling around, and Shawnee Simpson is right there. Soto grabs his jersey. No call. Simpson breaks away from him now and sends it to Henderson on the far side. Henderson chasing it into the corner, tries to center it to Watkins, but Littman comes out and grabs the ball. Soto really got away with one right there. Ratsburg and Wilson, and Ratsburg goes down again. I don't want to let the little guy go. Third time in the second half that Ratsburg has been sent to the turf. I think the referee has to pull a card for this, you know? I mean, it's the fourth time that a you know, different guy has gone after uh, Ratsburg. He has to do something to protect the players, or else the players are going to have to be uh, forced to protect themselves, and that's when the game gets out of hand. Because there's going to stop the clock right here. The trainer comes out to give some attention to Keith Ratsburg. Tough second half for Keith Ratsburg. Yeah, you hope it's nothing serious where, uh, you know, we're going to have to take him out. Although we do have uh, Chuck Lively warming up over there. He can play on the left side very well. Looks like they might be working on the left knee of Keith Ratsburg. Looks like they might be checking for any uh, ligament damage there. See if we can pick it up on the replay and see what might have happened to Ratsburg right here. Let's look for the Zodiac player, his leg going, going into uh, Ratsburg's knee here. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, Ratsburg, uh, his, his leg was planted and it seems that uh, you know, they might have bumped knees or something. Doesn't look like he can continue. Yeah, Ratsburg is going to have to come out of the game, it looks like, right here. Johnny! Ratsburg trying to shake it now with a little bit of a jog. Yeah, what uh, Tom Simpson's going to do to compensate for that, he's going to bring Shawnee back to his uh, normal position, check with uh, Ratsburg, see if he can go. If not, um, we'll see what type of decision uh, Tom's going to make. But it looks like he's going to be able to go back in. He's, uh, he's just getting some water. Sablo battling on the far side. Rogaski also there. This is Soto. And a whistle that is going to go against the Seals. Looks like Ratsburg wants to come back into the game. He's talking with Tom Simpson right now. And it looks like he is ready to get back in there. Limping just a bit, long shot. Bill May right there with an easy save. Ratsburg showing a lot of pain on the sidelines right now. I think he's gonna try to work through it, see what happens. And Ratsburg does check back into the contest now. So Ratsburg shaking up. He's been hit hard three times in the second half. But he is going to hang in there. A 1-0 contest. A little over 20 minutes to go here in the second half. Crowd making a little noise here at Dublin High School, trying to inspire the Seals. Let's come away with something, guys. We have to feed the ball into the box. It's the only way we can make ourselves dangerous here. And uh, Seals don't come away with anything. Cruz steps in front of the pass. Watkins trying to send it down. Now it's Rob Gallo. Gallo looking for Henderson. The pass goes a little bit wide. Brian Ingus are there for Orange County. Patterson out in front. Coming back to help Sean Sanders. Sanders looking inside to Patterson. 
Double teamed by the Seals. Ken Rogowski steps in front of the pass. Seals with only a couple of shots on goal in the first half. Really haven't had a serious shot here in the second half. Trying to change that right here. Cleared out, Patterson out ahead of Cruz. Ratsburg trying to hustle back and help out defensively. Patterson dribbling toward the middle now. Sends it back to Wilson. Wilson and Ratsburg into the corner. Ratsburg is a, a workhorse. You know, he's never going to give up on the play. Roberto Cruz, he's, he's looking for somebody, but nobody up top is offering anything. So he's forced to give the ball to Shawnee Simpson and Tadayani there with the cheap foul on uh, Shawnee when he could have just stood him up. Seals with a quick kick in. Ken Rogaski now on the far side. TCI of California is proud to be the media sponsor of the San Francisco Bay Seals, San Francisco's professional A-League soccer team. Orange County looking a little winded right now. They're moving a little bit slower than they were a couple of minutes ago. See if the Seals can take advantage of that. We haven't seen Mike Gartland go to the bench in the last few minutes. The lone substitution, Brad Wilson. That was quite a few minutes ago. Wilson now on the turf. Free kick coming up for the Zodiac right here as the foul call goes against San Francisco. The Seals trailing 1-0 with 19 minutes and 25 seconds to go in this one. If you don't have health insurance and need urgent medical care, come to the free Rota Care Clinic at Seton Medical Center, 1900 Sullivan Avenue, Daly City. Mondays except holidays, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Immunizations given on the fourth Monday of each month. No appointment necessary. Call 650-991-6677. Soto trying to send it toward the middle. Nobody home for the Orange County Zodiac. Bill May will send it to Ratsburg now on the near side. We'll see what happens with Ratsburg. Every time he's touched the ball in the second half, he's been hammered by the Zodiac. Long pass ahead. Henderson trying to chase it down. Perez is there for Orange County. All oh, right there, the Seals have to win that ball. They can't allow the, the guy to just, uh, you know, play the way he wants to with it. Wilson and Ratsburg mixing it up. Ratsburg coming away with the ball that time. And now sent out on the far side. It'll be Orange County's ball with 18 minutes and 10 seconds to go. And now we will see a substitution for Orange County, Brandon Jantz is going to come into the game for Eddie Soto. So trying to get some fresh players on the field right here and perhaps start to really pack things in defensively. Holding on to the 1-0 lead. Well, if Jantz is a defensive player, then that seems what uh, this coach is trying to do because he's pulling uh, Eddie Soto, which is uh, one of their best uh, attacking players. Jantz, a 5'8", 165-pounder, just 19 years of age. Graduated last year from high school from Temecula High, so not a whole lot of professional experience for this young man. Put right into the action right here. Jantz mixing it up far side with Westcott. Westcott kicks it back into the middle. P.J. Pulowski takes it away for Orange County. The ball ends up out on the far side. A throw-in coming for the Zodiac. Pulowski trying to control it. Inside it goes, Bill May is there. Patterson in the area, but not near the ball for Orange County. And Bill May will try and send it deep for the Seals. Henderson there gets a bump just before the ball arrives. No whistle. Cleared out, we're starting to see Orange County try and chew up some clock, kick the ball high and far. And with 16 minutes and 40 seconds to go, the Seals We'll have to rally here. Trailing by just one, so this is definitely doable here in the second half for the Seals, although they have not come back in a ball game yet this year. We'll see if they can do it here tonight at Dublin High School. Ratsburg near side. 
Into the middle it goes. Shawnee Simpson. Rob Gallo getting it to Ratsburg. Ratsburg breaking into the middle. Ratsburg with a shot. Littman blocks it, doesn't get it clean, but keeps it in front. Opportunity right there if there had been a follow-up, but nobody was there for the Seals. Yeah, Ratsburg should have taken it in a little bit more. It seems like he had some space there where he, you know, he could have taken it a little more and maybe got a better shot off. I think he's thinking in the back of his mind, I'm, I'm going to get whacked. I should uh, just take a shot from here. Understandable considering what's happened to him in this second half. Shawnee Simpson tripped up that time by Tate Ioni. P.J. Pulowski trying to get it away, and there's a whistle and a card. It's going to go against Pulowski. Let's see what the Seals are going to look for here. It seems that uh, Kenny Follin's going to be on the ball. Or actually, Shawnee seems that he's taking ownership of it. Um, we're looking at it like a 35, 35-yard 35 shot from here. Um, if Shawnee's thinking of... Uh, Shooting from here, it's going to have to be a well-driven ball because the ball is naturally going to rise. So hopefully he can keep it low about head level. Oh, he tried to flick it. Tried to punch it inside. Easy save for Orange County. Steve Patterson now sends it back. Littman runs it down just ahead of Shane Watkins. Littman getting back into goal now. Ratsburg. Trying to work something again. Ratsburg into the middle against Wilson. Tries to center it to Henderson. Angusser goes down with Ratsburg again. Bill May now back in goal for San Francisco. Under 15 minutes to go. Ken Folan now for the Seals. Ratsburg on a give and go with Shawnee Simpson. Simpson into the corner. Has it taken away? The Seals still on the attack. A substitution coming up now for San Francisco. John Calmy looking to check into the game. Calmy looks to be coming in for uh, Kenny Folan. Wilson. And Folan tangling that time. Folan goes down. Westcott chasing it back ahead of Patterson. Oh, my. Bill May almost sent it right to Patterson. And that would have just about done it if Patterson had come up with that one. <laughs> Ooh. Made our hearts, hearts stop there. Again, Orange County kicking it high and long, chewing up time on the clock. 13 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the second half. Orange County won. San Francisco zero. We have a late whistle on a tangle up on the far side. A Seals player down and a Zodiac player down. Not sure exactly who was involved. Seems that uh, Shawnee went in on the tackle and got a piece of him and so did uh, Angelo. Maybe it's a little uh, payback for what uh, they've been doing to uh, Ratsburg all game. You know, getting back to this 19-year-old uh, kid from uh, from the Zodiac, I, I really don't agree with these uh, young kids out of high school going, jumping into the A-League uh, thing. I think they should go to college for two years, and if they dominate at the college level and the coaches see that, you know, they want to become part of that Project 40 where they can still pay for their education as well as play in the MLS, then that's the thing to do. Uh, players like Ben Olsen, with, uh, which is playing for D.C. United, you know, dominated at Virginia and you know, decided to, to come out and play in the MLS, knowing that he still had college el el eligibility. Tom Simpson waiting to make a couple of substitutions now. Marco Bonacorse, a forward, also loosening up with John Calmy. So two players getting set to check in. Damon Hughes is looking to check in now for Orange County and their head coach, Mike Gartland. I really don't understand what uh, Tom Simpson's uh, substitutions are going to be here. Shane Watkins working into the corner now, trying to make something happen for the Seals. Watkins working around a couple of players, sends it up high to Henderson, but Littman grabs it just ahead of him. The timing off just a bit. 
And the that, opportunity was there. That's what we've been looking for uh, Shane to do all game is to take his uh, individual athleticism and, uh, you know, create something for himself. And right there, you know, he's proved it, that he can get open. He can beat um, players. And, you know, it was the last touch that, you know, missed right there. And now uh, Tom Simpson uh, seems to be taking Watkins out and putting uh, Bonacorsi in. So Marco Bonacorsi checks into the contest. Bonacorsi, who went to Yale. Halftime. Referee's calling for timeout for some reason. Got an Orange County player down on the field as we see Marco Bonacorsi limbering up just a little bit more. 5960 pounder. 26 years of age. He's been on the team since 1992. Calmy has not checked in yet, although he has been loose for a while, waiting near midfield. And it's Sean Sanders who was injured just a little bit earlier. Now he's going to have to be helped off the field. Sanders with an injury here that's going to take him off the field. TCI of California hopes you are enjoying this San Francisco Bay Seals telecast, but why not make plans to now to see the next Seals home game up close and in person? Come to Keysar Stadium next Saturday, May 23rd, 7.30 p.m. The Seals will be hosting the California Jaguars. That's going to be a good one next Saturday night at Keysar. We hope to see you out there. Ten thirty to go. Hughes in the game now. I think Tom Simpson wants to push everybody up and see if they can, you know, get a goal in these last ten minutes that you know the game is going on here. Because they have they have to put points on the board in order to stay close in the standings. Apparently, the officials have asked to add some time to the official clock. Ten minutes to go now. Henderson to Ratsburg. Ratsburg guarded closely, getting the attention of two Orange County players, but he breaks away, gets it into the box. Just behind Ken Folan. Sablo now. Good battle there. Brian Engeser takes it away from him. Throw in now. Headed by Kenny Hess. There's Henderson. Henderson dribbling in, and he scores. Henderson gets it past Littman and Hughes, and the Seals tie it up. 9.57 to go. Henderson, Henderson with his first goal as a San Francisco Bay Seal. Rasheem Henderson, using his big body, was able to shield the ball where the defender was unable to find it. You know, he's looking through a big man, trying to find the ball. Henderson plays it one touch to himself and puts it away. Let's see it on the replay here. You know, Zodiac does a horrible job, you know, clearing the ball, gives the Seals a, um, a throw in. Seals play the ball quickly, which the ball goes to uh, Henderson himself. We get the picture of it. Goes back to Henderson. Henderson one touches it down to himself, finds it, and Littman's out of place, and uh, Hughes uh, makes an attempt to try to clear it off the line, but is unsuccessful. Bill May comes out and punches that one away. Bill May with the punch out. Patterson was there. Almost untying things. Under nine minutes to go. So the Seals in the 81st minute tie it up. Well, it seems that Tom went back to put in uh, Ratsburg back at defense. He's not throwing the whole kitchen sink at the Zodiac now. He's comfortable with the 1-1 right now, and he wants to play him even again. The assist was given by uh, Ken Folan on the head ball. So Henderson with his first goal of the year for the Seals. And we're tied at 1-1. Henderson trying to get control again. So the Seals have been able to come back, something they have not done this year. And we are tied at 1-1, eight minutes to go. Still anything can happen in this one.
Ken Foling doing a great job picking up that assist with the header to Henderson. Ronnie Dumlau ready to come into the game for uh, for what seems to be uh, Ken Folland to add a little bit uh, more uh, pressure in the midfield. Ronnie Dumlau, an, uh, an ex, uh, a former uh, Santa Clara University soccer player, now uh, residing in San Francisco at the Simpsons residence. So the strategy changing a bit. Kami was getting set to check in. Now it's going to be Dumlau with the score 1-1. So the Seals tying it up in the 81st minute of this one. An opportunity now for Orange County. Seals trying to pack it in defensively. Pulowski looking for room and a whistle that goes against Orange County. Orange County is coming back with a couple of threats here after the score was tied. 1-1 here. At Dublin High School, six minutes and 50 seconds to go. In the center circle, Hughes battling Ratsburg there. Hughes takes it away now. Hughes trying to find some breathing room and send it ahead to Jantz, headed by Alberto Cruz. Far side it goes. Wilson, Wilson sending it back inside. Wilson chasing it down again. The shot goes high, but a whistle before that. There's an offsides on the play. Uh, the left fullback got caught on the offsides position and forgot to run back with the line. Orange County coming back strong. The last thing the Seals want to do after tying it up is give up another quick goal. Six minutes to go here. Marco Bonacorse trying to get control of that one can't do it Jason Westcott now chasing it down for the seals and trying to send it the other direction so Rasheem Henderson making his presence felt in just his second game as a San Francisco Bay seal tying things up 1-1 opportunity right here for the seals Simpson trying to shake loose coming back is Damon Hughes and he sends it out on the near side. Simpson will take the throw in now. Kenny Follin coming out and Rodney Dumlau checking in for him. Ken Follin, you know, recently just coming off of a, a pulled groin, you know, played excellent today, you know, did what was asked of him, you know, didn't make any mistakes defensively and, you know, attacking wise, he, you know, he supported the play every time. Rodney, you know, forcing his first turnover right there. Some fresh legs on the field, and Rodney Dumlau. It was all West Coast Conference at Santa Clara in 1994. Keith Ratzberg battling against Hughes, and both players go down. Hughes ends up on top of Ratzberg, and Ratzberg is injured again. That's just uh, unbelievable what... Uh, What's happening to Ratsburg out there? He's getting mugged every time. Marco Buonacorsa in the corner. Ratsburg is in the area, but ineffective as he tries to shake the cobwebs out. Shawnee Simpson on a run. Henderson inside. Henderson turns to the goal. Can't get it by Littman. Littman somehow stopped it that time. Patterson now the other way. Oh, what an opportunity for the Seals, but they come up empty. Great job by Simpson to get it inside to Henderson. Henderson couldn't turn around. He had to try and back kick it, but Littman was right behind him. Under four minutes to go, tied at 1-1. I think Rasheem got lost in those big feet of his. He didn't know where the ball was. Ratzberg back in the action now. He has shaken off a lot here in the second half. He's going to be a little bit sore tomorrow. But Just I bet you play. if you... I bet you if you ask him to play one more game, he'll, he'll be up for it. Seals have a few days off, so Ratsburg will enjoy that. Brona Corse now in the corner, trying to send it across and inside, but he sends it a little high and a little long. Shawnee Simpson runs it down. Simpson trying to make something happen, getting it inside to Henderson. Sent out on the far side, three minutes and 10 seconds to go. In the second half, we are tied at 
Henderson trying to turn and face the goal, battling with Perez and sent out. The Seals will hang on. That's been a real good battle all night, Perez and uh, Rasheem, you know, and two guys, two big competitors, and, you know, they're playing uh, well against each other. Two minutes and 35 seconds away from overtime here tonight. Ken Rogaski sending it back. Inside it goes. Marco Buonacorsi trying to get there ahead of Littman. Littman grabs it out of the air and punts it long for Patterson. Headed out by Alberto Cruz. Brandon Jantz there now. Sent across. Alberto Cruz with a nice job to keep it away from Patterson. And a corner kick coming for the Zodiac with just two minutes and five seconds to go. Alberto Cruz is a very smart player in the back. You know, just decided to do the wise thing and just play it out of bounds because if he was to hit it back towards the, uh, you know, in the play, uh, who knows if a Zodiac player would have picked it up here. Seems that they're all sitting up on top of the penalty spot here. It's going to be an in-swinging ball. Brad Wilson sends it high and long, and it looks like it's going to go all the way across. Wow, Wilson hitting that one much harder than he wanted. A little bit of cross breeze helping that one out. But that was, a, that was a horrible kick. I think Wilson has to cut his toenails or something because uh, I don't think that's what he wanted to do. So a minute and 30 to go now. Henderson on a run, far side. Stripped away by the Zodiac. Alberto Cruz now sending it back inside to Henderson. Henderson and Littman, and Littman gets there just ahead of Rasheem Henderson. Alberto Cruz, very smart player, you know, knows exactly where to, where to play the ball, where it would be most dangerous, you know, in between the forward and the fullback. One minute to go. Shawnee Simpson. Rodney Dumlau now getting it over to Ken Rogowski. Time on the clock for the Seals to win this one. 50 seconds to go. The pass inside, a little bit of a bump, no call. Orange County takes it away, but a nice job by Rodney Dumlau now. Dumlau. Gets it back to Shawnee Simpson. Uh, Simpson it. sending it into the corner. Sablo trying to center it. Can't quite do it, and it's cleared out by the Zodiac. Patterson on a long run. Cruz sending it back to Brandon Jantz. 20 seconds left on the clock here. Orange County trying to make one last effort count here for the win. Pulowski had it stripped away and it's sent out with just 10 seconds to go. I don't think anyone's going to get off a shot in regulation. And we will be heading to an overtime. And that does it for the first half. So Rashim Henderson tying it up in the 81st minute. A huge goal for the San Francisco Bay Seals as they come back and tie this one up late in the second half. And we are tied at 1-1, but a little momentum right now for the San Francisco Bay Seals. Yeah, definitely. The Seals have the hand up right now in leading into the overtime because, they, you know, they just scored a goal. They're attacking. It seems that the Zodiac's a little tired. So uh, let's hope that they can put a goal away in the, in the overtime. We don't have to go to that nasty shootout. So 1-1 at the end of regulation. We'll see if anyone can come up with a golden goal in overtime. We'll be back with the start of the OT period in just a moment. Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog, and this is one of my very favorite places to visit, a forest. You know, forests are great places to go if you want to camp or hike or just admire the beautiful greenery. So this is a forest, huh? Wow. Ooh, check out all these leaves. Wait till we tell them back home at the South Pole. As I was saying, forests are great places for everyone to visit. Not only that, forests are where we get wood, and forests help keep our air and water clean. Smell that fresh air, Millie. Forests are also home to lots of different animals. Unfortunately, <laughs> these days our forests are in serious trouble. They're being threatened by development and by people who don't respect them. It's important to save our forests, and there are things you can do to help. To find out, write to Forests, National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Hey, let's get a picture with the talking frog. Remember, forests, forests are, are more than, than trees. trees. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. People think because I don't talk about politics, I don't care about it. I let my vote talk for me. I've seen my candidates win. I've seen them lose. I vote, I say my piece. I listen to a lot of big mouths every day. You know what? 
My vote speaks louder. I can't always speak my mind at work, right? But in the voting booth, I can say anything I want. Listen, that's what my vote says. That's pretty satisfying. On election day, vote for your candidate, vote for your country. But most of all, vote for yourself. Thank you.